No, no, I don't think there is. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's it. Okay. It doesn't matter anyway, because um, if my memory serves me correctly, which it may or may not do, we're about to be overflowing with ammo. Like, literally, we're going to have pockets full of ammo. We're not going to want, we're not going to know what to do with the ammo that we're about to receive. <clears throat> because, oh Lord, your bounty is beautiful and plentiful. Right, well, let's stick that in there. Oh, sweet mother of God. So that's 12, 24, 36 magnum rounds. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, we shall certainly take that as well. I mean, if, 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 you're forcing my hand, game. I'll I'll take it. What's that? There is actually a glitch here where you can get uh, unlimited amounts of ammo as well. But I can't actually remember how that works off the top of my head. Needless to say, I think we're good. I think we're fine. <laughs> could probably put the shotgun back for a bit, to be honest. Because the shotgun just isn't that efficient against hunters. So let's go do that. Also, we've got to go fight Yawn. And Yawn is a bit of an ob. So Magnum is probably optimal for him. Probably. Not that we've had anything approaching an optimal run or anything like that, but you know. Right, so yeah, we're, we're back up to a healthy amount of shotgun shells, but we... Uh, if we're going to go fight Yawn, actually, we might want to take some medical assistance with us. Right, there we go. Uh, is that going to be enough? Oh, we'll heal up as well. We'll take another green herb. Uh, the, interestingly enough, you know, this is actually like the hardest part of the game. Uh, well, not in this mode. Well, yeah, I mean, it's the hardest part of this mode as well. But um, it is interesting to me that the midsection of this game, they just go absolutely spammy with the difficulty with these hunters. Um, you know, they are really freaking dangerous even on this difficulty, as I've already proved. But when you get to the lab, things start, like, chilling out again. Now, we can't use this, can we? We can never go through here. A numeric key panel. You don't know the pass number. Yeah, you can get the pass number if you play as Jill. I don't know if you can get the pass number, actually, if we play as Chris. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. Anywho, let's make our way back over. Oh, I forgot these guys. One for you. Oh, this is too easy. Uh, no, he, <coughs> he didn't actually <coughs> didn't actually hurt us. I mean, well, he did. He took like one eighth of our health down. But not enough to really make an impact. So, let's go. I mean, we're certainly making the mansion safer for everybody else. I don't know if there's any hunters in these other rooms. Um, maybe some of them. Oh, I've still got coffee left. <laughs> mm. Oh, coffee. Where have you been all my life? All oh, right, yeah, in a jar in the kitchen. Might have to go sort that out in a minute. 
The only problem with like recording these longer videos, like when you sit down to record like an hour or maybe a little bit more, you run out of coffee and stuff like that. Maybe I need to queue up a few cups. Okay, anyway, yawn. Round two. Another piano. <sighs> nope, I don't think you play this one either, Chris. <sighs> and it's pretty cool that Yawn looks all damaged. Ooh, that's a bit of a hole in the floor there, buddy. How many Magnum rounds does he take? That's... Oh, reloading. I don't think I'm actually hitting him. That hit. That hit. Oh! I'm actually really glad I could show that off. <laughs> That's wicked. I was not checking my health at all. Let's start that encounter again, shall we? Oh, I love this rewind. There's... I don't have to, like, reload the game and play all the way back up to it. It's really sweet. Right, let's get away from him. Come on. Two. Three. Let's use something resembling tactics, huh? Tactics? What are those? They're for losers. Oh, I'm stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck. He's trapped us. He's trapped us. We're probably going to want to herb. Alright, let's keep going. Come on, you big, ugly bastard. Oh, God, we're empty. Not fantastic. Definitely an easier boss um, with... Oh, God, we're in danger again. He's definitely an easier boss with Jill. He really can take the magnum rounds like a champion, can't he? <coughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, a hole opens in the fireplace. He didn't poison me either, which is curious. Well, <coughs> looks too dark to see. Will we jump down? We will, because, God damn it, we're Chris Redfield. And here we go. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Yep, there's no ode to um, Trevor there, I don't think. Not like in the remake. Again, that's one of the cool things that they did with the remake. They didn't really change the game. Well, they did change the game. But they just added so much to it. Right, this is going to get delicate. Because he ain't the only one, Chief. Oh, ho, ho. I, you know what? I thought there was three. I thought there was three. Right, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's keep tapping the lock-on button. Just tap the lock-on button. There we go. Alright. That'll do, Donkey. We've got some nice shotgun shells here. When we get back... I don't know, actually. I was going to say, when we get back to the lab, might switch back to the shotgun, but... I don't know, man. I thought there was herbs here as well, but... I guess not. Maybe there's herbs through here. Pretty sure there's a magazine somewhere. But we're not. Oh, yep, we got zombies. We got a triple pack of zombies, I believe. No. Yes, it is a triple. Because you've got two zombies eating um, another dude. And we're going to get a load more shotgun shells in a minute. That's going to make us feel quite a little bit better. Alright. Ah, bring us back up to fine. I'm sure it's three zombies here. Yep. Hey, guys. Don't mind me. Oh, no. We need to see this. Oof. 
Oof. Oh, is this dude not going to get up? Actually. Ah, he. Alright, well, he's actually dead. Interesting. I'm. Maybe it's the remake that he gets up then. It could be. There's a small key here. Which we will pick up. It's dusty. It's not been used for a long time. An oven. It's badly rusted and does not seem to work. Well, that's no good. Ooh. <laughs> this cutscene gave me so many chills as a kid. Because, like, I was like, what is that? What's coming through that door? It can't be. Can't be a hunter, because that didn't look like a hunter. Can't be a zombie. But he's a tough zombie as well. Two magnum shells to the dome. Two magnum shells to the dome. Yeah, interesting. I didn't realise you couldn't decapitate him either. So we'll take the small key. <coughs> um, what else? Oh, there's a sleeping zombie there. Not been used for a long time. It's fine. Oh, there's no way you touched me. I'm calling bullshit on that. Absolute bullshit. Hacks. Fucking hacks. Absolute hacks. <sighs> Scumbag. Right, hunters. Oof, that was close. That was very close. I almost felt my head coming off. There is another one, though. There's another one just around that corner, I believe. We will eat that herb. bring us mostly back to fine. Let's just check this area out. I'm sure there's another one here. No, there isn't. Okay. Let's make sure we're all good. Ah, right. This is what I was thinking of. Yeah, buddy. Do you want to get up there? There you go. A little bit off your head. And I... I think, yeah, this guy's still alive too. There we go. Magnum round on a chilling out zombie. Bit too much? Probably. Okay. And then. The door is locked. Yeah, can't go through there. Okay, that's fine. So, we've got some herbs here. We've actually got a decent amount. I might pick one up and use one. Just to bring us back up to max health. And we still have 27 um, handgun bullets. Still 27 handgun bullets. Absolutely mad. Right. So let's go check this nice little storeroom out. I like this storeroom. Has a couple of interesting items that we like. Has some beautiful shotgun shells. Yeah, you didn't really think we were running out of ammo, did you? I mean, come on. Seriously. And I think we're about to get some more Magnum rounds as well. Now, I think if you're not playing a ranged mode, in fact, I know, if you're not playing a ranged mode, you will actually find uh, the battery in there. <clears throat> so, let's go. <sighs> it seems quiet. Let's get some magnum bullets, shall we? Cow surprise. What's that? Back up to 36 magnum bullets. Giving us 39 in total. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello, sir. Didn't see you here. Boop. 
I think there's three zombies in here. Boop. Boop. Right. Scrapbook. Raccoon Times, May 27th, 1998. Animal attack, woman mutilated. May 20th, around 10 p.m., a 20-year-old young woman's body was found by a passenger on the left bank of Marble River in the uh, Cider District of Raccoon City. Cider District? I'd like to go there. Uh, raccoon police assume it to be a grizzly or other animals doing because there are teeth marks along her mutilated arms and left foot that show considerable power. Since she was wearing a hiking boot on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arkley Mountains and fell onto the river. They are hurrying to identify the woman. Raccoon Weekly, June uh, 16, 1998. Monsters in Arkley Mountains. Some people claim that they have seen monsters in the Arkley Mountains. The monsters are supposed about the same size as a large dogs usually run in packs as wolves do. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hurt. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them so you smart readers should stay out of the Arkley Mountains for the time being. But you're looking for adventure? But if you're looking for adventure, check it out. You want to try? <laughs> yeah, that's so irresponsible of the news, but hey, that's never happened before, has it? The news being irresponsible? Bah! Take your tinfoil hat off, for God's sakes. Raccoon City Times, July 9, 1998. Mystery on Arkley Mountains. Mountain road blocked. Due to successive disasters in the Arkley Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. At the same time, Raccoon police intend to begin a search for lost people with the help of stars team members they suspect great difficulty because of the vast size of the arkley mountains and the um primeval forest that covers most of the area also people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountain mm. yeah imagine that the news lying to us <laughs> honestly okay <clears throat> so let's keep going Right. Ooh. Okay. Can't remember. I think there's like one zombie in here somewhere. Uh, maybe not. Nope. I think we're okay. But we do want to have a fiddle with this. There's a switch. We push it. Aye, lad. We will not push it a second time. Let's go open up the super secret study. So I must thank uh, Chris, I believe, the game's librarian, for actually telling me about this mode. Because obviously I knew arranged mode was a thing, but I never, I don't remember anyway, um, knowing how to access this double ammo mode. Which uh, was really cool. I know we were all talking about it in the Discord, but really freaking cool. <coughs> <clears throat> and if it wasn't Chris that brought it up first, I apologise. Might have been Jimmy Fails. Might have been. Can't remember now. One of you beautiful bastards did, anyway. So. We have the Doom Book 1. Which, of course, contains the medal. Okay. Medal from the first Doom book. Lovely. Now we are missing something. Hmm, we are missing something. Uh, we're missing the battery. I think that might actually be back in this room. Yes, there's another door in this room, I think. <clears throat> oh, there's a... Is a uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Ah, right, yep, there is another door. Me and my mem- Oh, did I push that the wrong way? 
I pushed that the wrong way. Me and my memory, man. This is what happens when I play games with a extreme lack of uh, caffeine. Literally only had one flagon of coffee today. Obviously, it's deficient. And I'm back to work tomorrow as well, so... Oh, yay. But that's okay. It's only a 54-hour week this week. Ugh. Right, so we've got some ink ribbons that we're not going to pick up. We do have a magazine here, which... Um... I guess we could pick it up, sure. Then there should be a battery. There it is. And of course the crows. <clears throat> right, but we're not going to fight the crows because uh, that's probably not going to go well for us. Get off me, honestly. I think they've probably done a decent chunk of damage to me, actually. So now we can go back outside. Um, wow, we're in danger. Yeah, yeah, okay. So the second Doom book uh, is actually downstairs. And there are more hunters down within. But that's okay. Let's go back to an item box. Jiggle. What do you mean? Dual shock battery level low. Motherfucker's charged. It's plugged in. <laughs> I actually have a brand new unopened one uh, on my shelf behind me, <sighs> but I I really don't want to open it. It's a um, limited edition Last of Us 2 controller, and say what you want about the game, I have. Um, it's a really nice controller, really nice controller, but um, as I've always said, I don't really buy these things just to stick on the shelf. Um, I have lots of unopened games and things that I've happily opened in the past, much to my brother's annoyance. Um, if I'm not going to use it, I don't want to buy it, you know? He was very angry at me once for opening a brand new unopened PlayStation 2 controller. Like, what the hell did you do that for? because uh, I needed a new PlayStation 2 controller. But that's a priceless relic that's... Yeah, but it's, uh, it's, it's a PlayStation 2 controller, and it's brand new. There's no point in this thing going to waste in the box. I actually already have... Uh, I have another unopened PlayStation 2 controller. And guess what? If the day arrives that I need to use it, that sucker's coming out of the packaging. Right, anyway, um, doesn't mean I want to, but if I need to. Uh, okay, so we don't need that yet. Um, no, we're going to keep the Magnum for now. We will have the crank back. Actually, let's put the crank back for now. We will... Have the shotgun shells, combine these up. They're back up to 56 shotgun shells. Which... <coughs> is not too shabby. 120 handgun rounds, plus the... So we've got 370 handgun bullets. Which is a few. Um, And of course we need to get healed up, don't we? Wait, did we leave a herb up there? The green herb up there? Eh, yeah, maybe. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I think we're probably going to be okay for herbs. Yeah, probably. We have gone through a lot of them, though. Right. Anywho. Let's start making our way back on outside. Now there might actually be some hunters outside. Uh, what's the most efficient way back? I guess it probably doesn't really matter that much. I think we'll get to the um, underground. 
and then we'll probably call it a set there because I need coffee. And uh, as I think I said before, um, my biggest concern with doing these long set videos where, which I cut up into sections, uh, I kind of like the consistency of them. I feel like each video is a little bit more consistent. Um, because my mood does change from video to video. Uh, sometimes you're full of energy, full of beans and blah, blah, blah. And then the next time you try to record, you're a little bit down and low. Um, so I like that aspect of it. But if anything goes wrong, like if the video file corrupts or whatever, that's like a week of videos. Or at least half a week of videos gone. And that is my concern. <clears throat> Especially how often we have power outages. Probably, I don't know, eight times this year. They're only brief. The like, power will just flip off and come back on. Uh, which apparently is an issue with this house. But, you know, like I said, it's only for a fraction of a second. But it, it can destroy an entire... Did I say eight times this year? Probably isn't, hasn't even happened eight times this year. Probably about five. But it's happened twice when I've been recording. And it's frustrating enough when half an hour video is gone. Okay. Any... Oh, yep. Pause much. You shouldn't have announced your presence, sir, because I kind of forgot about you. Could have got away with it. If it wasn't for you damn troublesome kids. Right. I might have to buy a new battery for this controller, I suppose. Ugh. I guess it's not the end of the world, is it? Do we have anybody out here? We don't. The only trouble with buying, um batteries, replacement batteries for a device such as this is <coughs> because of the lack of right to repair you can't get official Sony batteries or you can but they're either dubious or they're are oh, you bastard utter bastard uh, you can See, see, I screwed myself over. Um, but they're either second-hand and potentially very well used. Or they're made by a third party, which... <laughs> uh, never trust third-party batteries. I've bought a couple over the years for my Wii U controller. Because if your Wii U battery dies... Yeah, it's, the Wii U ain't a lot of use, which again, Nintendo engineered some brilliant um, death clock syndrome on that. Because without the Wii U gamepad, the gamepad is junk, or the Wii U is junk. You need the gamepad for a lot of its functions, and a lot of games, for reasons... And sadly, if your battery is actually dead and will not accept a charge at all, you might think, oh, well, I just plug it into the mains. Yep, doesn't work. Doesn't work. It needs to actually detect and take a current. It cannot be powered off the mains. Like so many other, you know, electronics can. So that was literally a conscious decision that Nintendo made to make an obsolete product. Which is really frustrating because the Wii U itself, although I barely use mine anymore because uh, all of the games are basically on the Switch now, was a pretty cool control, a uh, pretty cool system. I mean it was doomed to fail. It literally didn't have a chance in hell when it came out. I mean, you're talking about a system that could trade blows with a 360 and PS3, you know, dropping five years into the lives of those machines. Yeah. 
with very an- with a very anemic processor, which really held it back. Yeah, Nintendo. Never mind. <coughs> <coughs> All right, let's get this water sorted. Uh, there we go. Use. Well, that idiotic mistake of mine has cost us a couple of minutes. See, this is what happens when you don't drink adequate amounts of coffee. Right. There we go. Now, let's go stick that battery. Wait! Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm like, wait a minute! But we need the water off anyway. Yes, you do, you absolute moron. But you need to put the battery in first. So you can go up the thing, up the other elevator. So you can turn the water off and still get down. Not the first time Resident Evil has done a puzzle like this. Well, <laughs> pardon me. Actually. It was the first time Resident Evil did a puzzle like this, but it wouldn't be the last. I'm also not really convinced that that battery would have the power to um, operate a hydraulic lift like that, but what do I know? Okay. Now let's go turn the water off, because we're an idiot. <coughs> to be fair, I think we've only lost literally a couple of minutes. Kind of annoying though. I thought I was being really clever. Yeah, we turn the water off now, because that's going to make it easier when we try to come back and cross the... Yes. And let's go do the water puzzle involving the battery and the crank and forget the crank because I'm a stupid ass apparently right I'm very far ahead of videos at this point as well and uh, I need to stop recording quite so much um, um, thank you. Because, uh, my hard drive is filling up. At a rather rapid pace, I might add. Okay, now, let's go down into the deep, awful abyss. Let's go down. Okay, let's explore. And there's the typewriter room. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to save it here, guys. Almost pushed the wrong button. And when we return, I guess in the next set, we will uh, start exploring this area. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.